This could be a massively underappreciated brain benefit of exercise, according to research just published this week. I'm Dr. Austin Promoter, and if you care about your brain, follow this channel. You probably know that exercise is about the most important thing you can do regularly to support and protect your brain health. But what you may not know is that exercise may also influence key neurotransmitters like dopamine, which is involved in cognition, is involved in motivation, and is involved in motor function. What this study does is it transforms our understanding of what exercise may be able to do to motor function, specifically by looking at an animal model. So let's jump right in. As we get older, we tend to slow down, and we would generally accept this as part of the aging process. But interestingly, research shows that the slowing that happens as we get older is correlated with alterations in neurotransmitters in the brain, specifically dopamine neurotransmission. So if we were able to modulate or change dopamine neurotransmission, could that potentially help to offset some of the slowness that comes with age? I will note that Parkinson's disease, something you may be familiar with, is strongly correlated with decreases in mobility and rigidity, and this is known to be related to alterations in dopamine. But again, changes in dopamine, even in people without Parkinson's disease, are correlated with slowness of activity as we age. In this study, they took an animal model using mice, and they had one subset of animals exercise for 30 days, and the other group of mice were not able to exercise. Then they looked at their brains to see how much dopamine was released when they tested individual parts of the brain. And they found that the mice that were able to exercise had a significantly higher amount of dopamine release. Now that is interesting, but what they also found is the mice that were able to exercise were able to move faster and had better motor planning and motor function than the mice that were not able to move during that 30 day period with aerobic exercise. So what does this mean? We've long thought about exercise as key to cognition, but exercise may in fact be key to helping to protect motor function in adults as they get older. Now this is obviously still animal data, but it's very interesting nonetheless. I'll put the link to this study in the comments below. If you're interested to learn more about this type of science, make sure you're following my channel. I'm Dr. Austin Perlmutter, and I'll talk to you again soon.